This is Dead Age. It's a turn-based zombie game from German developer Silent Dreams. I know you're probably sick of zombie games by now, but this isn't your typical Resident Evil or Dead Rising clone. I've packed my green herbs and extra shotgun shells because I'm committed to figuring out what's going on in the Steam Early Access release. Let's crib this. Wait, it's turn-based? Like, Final Fantasy Tactics? Yes, it's turn-based, but definitely not like Final Fantasy Tactics. This isn't a strategy game, but rather a straight-up old-school Japanese-style role-playing game set during a zombie apocalypse. You band together with other survivors to kill zombies in some pretty straightforward turn-based action. You choose whether to use melee or weapons, what kind of attack, and where it goes. And when everybody in your party is at a shot, the zombies will take a turn. It's just like Lunar, the Silver Star. That said, the developer has made a Final Fantasy Tactics-style strategy game. Silent Dreams actually started by making grotesque tactics back in 2010. Their follow-up IP was a game called Holy Avatar vs. Maidens of Death. This too was a strategy RPG, so I understand why you might expect Dead Age to follow suit. The Silent Dreams appears to be trying something a little different, which is probably for the best. Okay, that's cool, but does it have a story? Sure, it's a zombie apocalypse. What more story do you need? Okay, fine. It starts out with a student who wakes up in the middle of an abandoned highway and fears his sister has been captured. He sets out on a quest to find her and eventually meets up with other survivors. The group forms a camp and the game begins a tense survival experience where you're out risking your own safety to bring back supplies to the camp. Along the way, you'll meet up with a bunch of friendly faces, some of which will spawn new missions and ways to help you bond. There's even a blossoming love story early in the student's game, and from the looks of it, Dead Age will have five playable characters, so perhaps that means we'll see new stories depending on if we go through it as the soldier or bodyguard. I'm curious to find out. But is it a role-playing game? Yeah, it has most of the typical RPG tropes. You can grind for experience, level up each member of the party, discover loot, and equip new weapons and armor. The only thing it doesn't have is an overworld map, where you just wander around looking for random battles. There are also no dungeons. In its current form, Dead Age basically just has you jumping from one battle to the next with very little in between. Occasionally you'll search an abandoned bus or old truck, but don't expect the full Final Fantasy experience. I know the game isn't complete and there's still a lot to be added, so I hope Silent Dreams adds more content between fights. It's a little bare bones in its current state, but definitely bursting with possibilities. You don't see a lot of turn-based zombie games, and this one seems to be getting a lot right. The graphics are a little rough, and the build only has a few zombies to beat up, but it's on the right track. Dead Age is currently listing at $19.99 on Steam, which is a bit steep for what's currently in the package. I would probably hold off until we know more about what the finished game will include. Hey, thanks for watching our preview. This is the second crib shoot we posted this week, and there's plenty more where that came from. I actually have a huge stack of Steam Early Access games I've been meaning to talk about, so now that i figured out the format, I think you're going to see me bust through them in short order. We're going to be taking a look at Color Syndrome, Buck, 8-Bit Armies, Bunker Punks, and a lot more in the coming weeks. So make sure and click the subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.